Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to do a quick <laughs> 12 by 12 layout. On this one, this is the second time I am going to be using the Summer Vibes collection by Close to My Heart. Uh, my my um, videos are actually going up backwards. <laughs> the second one is going to go up before the first one. That's okay though. I do have a couple pieces of scraps that I'm going to be using. This white piece right here, it's the back side of a pattern paper that is not close to my heart. Um, I could not see justifying cutting up a gorgeous white daisy cardstock to go ahead and back my photos on. So I use this piece of scrap. Um, I'm also going to mat it on this black cardstock. This black cardstock is by Close to My Heart. Like I said, this is a second video, so you can see on with those um, images that were cut out on there, I did use this on my Cricut. What? I know, I'm getting more used to using the Cricut. And if you guys didn't know, the Close to My Heart collections like this one, the summer vibes and also the other one that came out this current catalog timber i believe is what it's called uh we do have cricket collections that go with those so you can make your papers last a little bit longer if you want or if you just love cut files there you go uh, what you would do is you would go to my becky bidding close to my heart com just my website and scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click on the cricket link and it'll take you to the close to my heart items in there that work with the um these collections there's also some for the previous collections if that might interest you so as you can see right here i am using a piece of uh glacier cardstock for the background and then i am putting this gorgeous um this almost looks like a tweed jacket or something <laughs> the blue i'm gonna mat that over this very fun paper that has all these little icons on it i didn't want a whole lot of those icons showing because I, I, that would just be too busy as a background so yes we're just gonna let about a half an inch on each side show from those and i just matted them um i do make it shorter then I do, uh, see right there. So I can have this piece up there at the top that is just the cardstock. Now, the reason I did that is because I was actually scrap lifting myself. <laughs> I scrap lifted myself and I did not put it up in the corner, but I did scrap lift myself on this one. And that's how my original one was. So I went ahead and rolled with it. Right here, I did take out the sticker sheet. This is the sticker sheet from the Good Vibes collection or the summer vibes collection sorry some of these are uv coated they're really cool the summer vibes is it's kind of shiny or glossy and so is the sun one that i pull out as well right here i am just gonna go ahead and pop it up pop up that title on foam tape it does take me quite a while to do because i had to cut my foam tape quite small uh, so we will cut away from that and it's going to go right there in the bottom right hand corner of this page, right? Like that. Isn't that cute? Summer vibes. Oh, that is so adorable. I love that pop of black. And that is why I knew this was going to be my title coming into this layout. So that is why I matted my photos again on the black. I just knew that that is something I was going to go ahead and do. So I am going to commit to the placement of my photos right here. I wanted some of this um, blue pattern paper to show on the left side as well so you can see i left about a quarter inch maybe maybe closer to half an inch coming out the side over there just so you can see it all the way through now this collection does have some acrylic shapes that you can purchase as well with this and um, they also come in a kit but if you just purchase all your stuff separately and don't want to do the workshop kits there are these acrylic pieces which are really cool i can't wait to, to do the Last year, or not last year, last month, the Close to My Heart blog had someone showing how you can heat emboss these acrylic pieces with the um, Aurora collection. So I haven't tried it yet, but I cannot wait to try it. Um, on this one, I didn't, I, I didn't try it yet. I did end up pulling in one of the stamps. You can see all those leaves right there. Those are stamped images. They are from one of the stamps that came out with this collection. There are two stamps. One is more of a card making stamp and one is more of a scrapbooking stamp. The leaves came off of the scrapbooking stamp. So I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really cute for, you know, just adding a little something extra. I don't know why, but I decided I want, wanted quite a bit of green on here. So I had stamped those out before I started putting this layout together, thinking that that'd be really cool. And actually, I do like how it is. The E in the Summer Vibes does have 
that green and then I do have three additional green leaves on there. I think it looks so cute. I added this cute little pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Aren't those so cute? I'm going to end up putting that heart, that yellow heart kind of over um, one of the lenses just over to the side. I just think that is so adorable. I absolutely love it. Now I could not find my liquid glass, which is what close to my heart sells. I do have glossy accents from my previous life before I started selling, um, close to my heart stuff. And they are basically, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but they are basically the same product to me. Anyways, they were pretty much the same. So on this one, I am using glossy accents just because I couldn't find my liquid glass. Um, I'm not the most organized person and I don't keep my desk completely clean, which I should do because things get lost when you don't do that. All right, guys, after I do that, I am not doing anything else this layout. See, it's really clean. It's really simple. I absolutely love it. And these photos of Riker are just adorable. Oh, look at his fat little thighs. I love that baby. Okay, so check the links down below if you'd like to support my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye, guys.